Welcome back to my channel. birthday I went to Cabela's and got a bunch of stuff also got some stuff here and there and we had a point where we needed a new tackle box so if you go to the other video and you go to this video you can definitely see the difference in tackle box now as you can see I have three trays one on the side and then plastic right in there because you're out of room so, we're just gonna jump by into it. So I'm gonna go from top left to top right to top, and then we'll go from there. So, this in this part we have this is some trout stuff. We have some power bait, garlic scent dough for trout, and we also have power bait eggs in a yellow color. And there's that, that back, and the other stuff, there's nothing else in there, that's personal stuff. And over here is just bottles. Now let's get to the top, which is my favorite. Okay. Look at all those plastics. Let's go. All right, let's jump into it. So, first and first, we have, there's only one, but I have a, a more of these. Missile baits. Crack and Crawls, and a black blue. Um, this bait did really well for me last year, last fall. Caught probably close to 100 fish on it. That's something that I like. This is something I got from a mystery tackle box, and I did get three mystery tackle boxes, so most of this stuff came from them. Most of this stuff we bought. This is Z-Man 10X Tough Streak Z. Swim baits, the deal. Five of them. In like a blue color. Pretty nice, never thrown them. Next up, we have Big Bad Baits, that's also cute, like pocket mystery tackle box. Beaver Baits in like a green pumpkin. Nice little color. Put those to the side, I will go through this later. This all came from the tackle box, and I've only never really thrown these. Bruiser Baits, the Avenger, and an Ice Storm, black and blue color. I like them, I gotta start throwing them more. But don't really consider it. Guggen Baits, my favorite company. Probably see a lot of that. And Bandito Bug and Green Pumpkin. I have one color of that. Next up, one of my also all time favorite baits, Yum Dinners, black and blue. And uh, let's see. What does it say? Five inches. These are five inch singos, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, black and blue. I don't know. These are five inch. Seven pack, but that did really well for me last year. Probably caught about, oh, I caught a lot of fish last fall. Next is also Cameron Mystery Tackle Box. Dad caught a catfish from these Impulse Swim Baits in normal swim bait color. This came from a Mondo kit. Guggen Baits Saucy Swimmers and a Green Pumpkin, 3.3 inches. I like those a lot. Next up, we have some Robo Worms. We like some Drop Shot, Senko kind of baits. Four and a half inches and a pumpkin punisher, green pumpkin color. Next up we have 10,000 fish, saw craw and a black blue color. And finally, last but not least in this top, well, not yet, but in this section, we have power baits, plasma tail. I think these are 10 inch worms, drop shot, same go type of baits. And that's it for that. And then these are Bass Pro Shop themselves. These are three inch Cinco's with the tails. I got the wrong ones. But I mean, tails work. I mean, it doesn't really make a difference. And then that was in like a white color. And this is like a green pumpkin watermelon flake color. Like watermelon red flake color. Three inch Cinco's with no tails. And yeah, they're nice. All right, next up, I'll go over some tackle. 
Sorry about that. Hit my tripod. This is my scale I use. Pretty nice. Bass. Do weigh it for other fish. These are my grippers that you see me use in most of my videos for pickerel. They work tremendously well. I recommend them if you're going pickerel fishing or catfish. All right. Pliers, and I'll just lift up the camera. Cutting pliers, a stake we found at a pond for a supplementary rod, a fillet knife, an old one that my dad had, some other pliers if we need them for small fish, and then just in case you lose your pliers, a knife. So that's just basic utility. Um, I'll bother putting this stuff away later because I don't want to take up too much time in the video. So that has everything in the top. Let me just yeah, close that. One match up. All right. I don't want to get my feet in the shot. So. Right. Move this back. All right. Sorry. Next up, we're getting to the middle. So let's start with the chop tray, and right off the bat, you can see all that stuff. So I'm actually just going to need to lower this like that. There we go. Okay. Right off the bat, you can see all that goodness. So let's jump right into it. So this is a crankbait. I forget the company that we bought it from, but I got it from Dick's. Um, Live Target X, I think. Half ounce crankbait. That's pretty nice. We haven't thrown yet. This is one of my favorite crankbaits, but I don't I, I don't have a boat, so we just this is too, so from from where I fished so far. Um, I can't use this, but if I I'm this year our one goal is to try new places, so so definitely be something I'm gonna be throwing if we can find a deep enough spot. This is the Vexen Vexen Fat Boy that I got from Mystery Tack Box, half ounce. Love that crankbait. Love that sticker. Um, chatter. And next we have three little crankbaits, and I think you can tell, if you can tell by the patterns of two of them. And if you guys use them before, you can tell what company they are, but if I can get them unstuck. First one is a spring red crawl color from a mini banner, Guggen Squad. Haven't thrown that one in particular, but I love the mini banners. This is the best mini banner for me in a bluegill pattern, got this in the Mondo kit. Works really well. That's what really started getting me into using your crankbaits. This is just a strike can, I think, one fourth ounce crankbait and like a nice little green minnow shad pattern. Like it. Um, haven't caught any fish from it, but if I just want to throw it around, then I'll throw that. This is a lure I got a crankbait I got in the Mystery Tackle Box. I don't remember the company, but I'm pretty sure it's a half ounce crankbait. It's a little chatter. It's like a deep diving though. So, like I said, from where I fish, can't really use it. Now we get into the jerk baits. This jerk bait looks awesome. I think it's a one fourth ounce jerk bait, semi floating and sinking. It's really shiny, so we think it would attract a lot of bass. I don't know that, but haven't used this yet. But you know, when bass start to bite in New Jersey, we will definitely give it a shot. If you can't tell, I'm putting film in my garage, and I will do like a poll video and. A reel and line video, maybe. But for right now, I don't want to make this video like a really long video, so I'm just gonna go over gear. This is a jerk bait. You've seen me use my videos. Um, that one haven't because we just picked it up recently. Uh, size F9, if you're wondering, and it's a one fourth ounce, I think. One fourth or three eighth. I'm gonna go with one fourth. It's a floating jerk bait though. Works really well for pickerel. It would work good for bass. And this is. If you're looking for good pickerel color, I mean, any jerkbait would work, but for me personally, this is the killer jerkbait lure. You see me use it in my videos. Hey, oh, and this is the pickerel killing lure. It's an F9 size jerkbait. It's old because we found someone gave it to us in the water. It is recent. I don't think it's like 1900s, the 20th century. 19 like late or late 1900s but it was in the water for a little bit so we think it was old because the hooks are rested but really works well like a rainbow chartreuse color really works well f9 
probably the same as that one. But this is the one crankbait I haven't thrown. It's a like 10 to 12 foot diving crankbait. And I don't fish waters at 10 to 12 feet. If I do, then I will. But it's a really deep diving crankbait. And I got it from Mystery Tackle Box and I can't use it. I like it, it's a nice one. So I'm gonna keep it until I'm older. All right, now let's go down the list of the tapper. This is one of the last crankbaits. It's a lipless crankbait, one fourth ounce I got from when I kind of did my first purchases of new gear. Shrikin, like shad color, lipless, my only lipless. And this is one of the baits I've been yet to use, but been waiting to use. Um, this was a Ketchco, I forget the name of it, but I've seen, I saw uh, Lake Fork guy use it. And I really wanted one because he did really well with it. And it's almost like a crankbait, but a inline spinner. It has one treble hook, a blade, and the body. I've been, this is, I think, a one fourth ounce, half ounce, or one fourth. I've been waiting to use that. I've been really excited to use it. So when I find a place I can use it, I am definitely going to use it. Now we're getting into like some trout lures, but I will. Just went fishing with this like a few days ago and I caught crappie off it. It's a nice little one six ounce rooster tail that we're trying to we're trying to get into some trout fishing. But instead I caught crappie at the Delaware Canal. If you're wondering, I didn't get a video because it wasn't worth video worthy. Next is another rooster tail. Same color, one six ounce, same company. Blades are different, a nice little one. And this is something I made a mistake on ordering. Um, just some really tiny jerk beats. It'll work really well if you're going for like small bass or I mean probably even a little pickerel will bite it, but yeah, we just have these around. Works really well if you have a split shot, but yeah, we made a mistake ordering, so we got the wrong size. Um this is something I got from Cabela's. It's a swim bait. I think it's one fourth to one half. One half live target X. And yeah, my dad got one. That's my dad's, and this is mine. My dad's like a spring call sunburn color, which I like, and this is like mine, like a shadow minnow color. I really like it. Um, don't really know when the appropriate time is to use it because it's cast really far and goes down and hits the bottom like immediately, so kind of gets caught up in algae, but we will eventually use it. All right, going back down the list. This is another mystery tackle box lore. It is a, you're wondering, Where's the hooks? This is called a rip knocker where you see the hole right there. Put your line through and take this individual treble hook, tie your line around that. So it's a line through lipless crankbait. Not my, I said this, the other crankbait was my only lipless. No, that one is, I just don't use it because it's really weird, but I have it. Um, Just more inland spinners, one my dad had from when he was growing up. Um. They were pretty good. My dad caught a like, trout on one of these, but he, he luckily was able to get it to the bank. One has a feather tail, one doesn't, um, because it came right off. But yeah, that's where we got the other ones. And then those, these are all the same. I'll get one. Just some rooster tails. So they have some big hooks. Probably using for bass, trout. Unless you take off the hook, probably not. And then we have some more little rooster tails and line spinners. These are inline spinners. Um, same thing. And then this is a crankbait, I think. Uh, yeah, a crankbait I ordered. I got the wrong size. Don't remember what the size was, but I ordered it from Dix. I think it's a striking. Got the wrong size. And then another thing is, I don't even know. I just found this on the ground. It's a little cricket crankbait. Uh, really small hooks, but I don't even know how to use it. I could do just take the hooks off of it for like trout fishing or something. And then throw the bait away because I honestly don't like that. I don't even know how to use it. All right, that's trade number one done. And we have to go through two other trays and more plastics. We probably should have done the plastics first. Okay, this video is going to be a little longer than I think. Ah, I keep hitting the freaking tripod. All right. Let's take out the next tray. All right. You can't tell by me pulling it out. This is my plastics. So Hooked, loose, jigs, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna get right into this. It should be a quick one, but I don't know. All right, first and first, I have two of these. Um, these are half ounce chatter baits from Chatterbait Company. Um, white color, probably one of my favorite baits and one of the most anticipated 
so it just has a little trailer. Same thing, got two of them. This is another Guggen Bee, the Guggen Clickbait. I got it when, when it first hit the dicks by me in the little black blue color thing, the one fourth or one half or three eighths, I don't remember. These are some jigs that we have loose. Um, this is a white in like kind of like should I choose kind of color, half ounce jig. Um, a nice little football head. It probably work really well if you're going trying to go deep. I just haven't thrown it yet. Um, next up we have a three or one eighth ounce striking jig in a green color. It's, been, it's probably one of the most jigs that work really good for swim jig color, but I don't know. This is a three eighths ounce jig from Mystery Tackle Bar. That one was from Mystery Tackle. Some lifted jigs. Um, one of my favorites out of the two lifted jig jigs I got. And this is the other lifted jig, jigs, 3 ounce in like a red color. It's a swim jig. I have a green pumpkin and dito bug tied up. Um, I did get a bite on this, but wasn't able to commit. This is my other jig, a half ounce grass ear with a um, beaver bait, beaver tail. I'm just trying out different combinations. This is probably my favorite swim jig. It's a black and blue three ounce strike can jig with a Nissel Bates crack and crawl. Caught probably close to 10 fish on it, works really well. And this is just an example of the crack and crawl rig. Um, this is a Ned rig that I, Lunker Hunt Ned rig with a hook I'll go over later. We lost all three, we only have one left, black, blue color. And then I don't really feel like going through that. Right here, it's just a bunch of loose plastics, like a Senko, a three-inch Senko, some other ones we found, so I don't really want to go through that because it's not really as important. Um, you can tell by these, I'll pick one up. These are just a bunch of different colored trout magnets. You could probably use those for trout fishing if I don't. They're just like white, pink, a bunch of different other colors. All right, next up we have, um, these are four, uh, Carl's Bait and Tackle, I think, or Catch Co. Offset Worm Hooks. I use these for my Senkos. They work really well. Um, I got them from a Mystery Tackle Box. This is a Jizit Helgramite. One bass of it. He Dad. loves Jizit. There's these minnows we had, if you won't go back to the previous video. Oh my gosh, I wish we could find more. They worked so well. I really miss those. Um, those are just some ripped plastics I have. This is a underspin I have with a Kayatech 3.5 inch black blue swim bait. Um, these are like some crappie jigs that I don't know we bought, but I don't really know why. Just some, something we have laying around. Probably use them for crappie, little bass, I, I don't know. Um, these are the hooks I mainly use for my T-Rigs. Uh, four aught and five aught. Uh, worm hooks. Now those are worm also. These are I forget. These are just circle hooks. They work. I love them. They work really well. These are a bunch of loose hooks of different sizes. Circle, offset, worm, all that kind of stuff. And these are just a bunch of small jigs. They're both one sixteen thousand. He worked really well when I use them. It's been a while, but. It worked really well. We have like a little purple color. These are from Missile Baits. That one we haven't used as much, but this one, this one works pretty well. It's a camouflage green. First time we bought it, it worked really well. And now that's kind of it for that trip. It didn't take as long, but man, this is going to be a long, long video. I don't really know if there's going to be any need for editing, but I will add in some stuff. I don't know. Depends. All right. We got this tray, the bottom one. I turn on the side, go through those plastics, and that's the video over. These plastics are kind of getting in the camera shot. Same with that stuff. And there we go. All right, let's get the last tray out. And I gotta take out that tray or it will ruin or fall on top. All right. Okay. All right, this is the final tray of my main baits. And as you can tell, this is a combination of spinner baits and top water, mainly top water though. So this is like my top water tray. So let's get into it. Um, so 
First things first, this is the bait I got for Christmas, and oh, I can't wait for top water to start. It's a Whopper Plopper and like a bluegill kind of shad color. I can't wait to use this. It's a top water you just reel, and it's, this spins as you reel, and I just really think they'll be the first top water bite I'll ever have. Actually, not my first top water bite, but the first top water fish. I had a bunch of bites on frog. It's just been waiting to catch one. I had, so out of all the bites I had on frog, they've missed it. But two actually bit it. I lost one. You actually see the frog from, if you go back to the last video, you can tell which frog. It's like a white and black frog. Oh, it's the best frog. This is another Whopper Plopper in like a white color I got for Christmas. Dad yeah, got it from, I forget the size, but don't run. This is a Guggenbaits Filthy Frog in a bullfrog color in Mondo Kit. Um, it goes really far. Uh, I haven't gotten a bite on it. I really like the design, but I don't know. Hey, right, let's keep going with top water. This is the second most biting frog I've ever had, besides the one I lost. It's a Lunker Hunt frog I got in a pack. Works really well. I had one consistent bite where <sighs> just spit out water. Oh, I filled with water. That sucks. Oh, it's just water. Okay. Um, one consistent bite, but. He let go as soon as I hooked him, so that sucks. This is the first frog I ever got, like a little leopard. Not popping, just normal frog. Um, Lunker Hunt, though. This is a frog out of a mystery tackle box. Uh, I forget the company, but don't remember the weight, but I mean, I really like it. It's probably one of my favorite skirted frogs. I mean, I don't really want to talk about this frog. I don't really like it. It's a big popping frog from Lunker Hunt. I don't like it at all. I like the smaller kind of presentations. I'd much rather use this over this. Just in my opinion. Okay, I'm done talking about that frog. It came that was from the pack. Alright. Come on. Stop messing with me. Alright, this is a blooper. I got Rebel was the company. Um one half or one fourth ounce. Can't wait to use this because it goes I keep hitting my tripod. Goes decently. Oh my I love the action of it. And I actually have, this is actually kind of funny. This is one I found. Um, I found this on a rod that I found in the Delaware River. The rod we actually have is the saltwater rod. So when I go saltwater for the first time, but this is just a lighter color, lighter weight, doesn't go that far, but I mean, works really well. I'm just gonna take this out, put it to the side. That's gonna win. Okay, that, and uh, we're not done. I almost closed that tray. All right, spinner baits. Um, this is a one half or one fourth ounce. Don't I, actually, I have no idea the company. It's just a dollar spinner bait from Walmart I bought. I, I, I like it. Um, this is another dollar spinner bait from Walmart. Now, like, if, if I go to practice, like cast out from my front, just try out a new setup the bait I use. I like it, I like the color. Uh, my favorite spinner bait is a Guggenbait Zinner. Um, probably will use this the most this year. We'll probably, will hopefully anticipate a bite on this. I love this. It works well. If you want to use a snap, but eh, kind of. I love the color, Sartreuse. Three eighths ounce. Really well. This is my only working Buzzbait. It's a half ounce Buzzbait in a black color. Uh, Shriken or Bodia. Bodia. Got it from Cabela's. And I don't really want to talk about this. My dad thought. Lighter the better. One sixteenth ounce dollar spinner does be from Walmart. I don't really want to talk about it. It sucks. It doesn't even work. Just want to throw it away. But yeah, that is all of my Lord trays. Um, yeah. This video is definitely longer than the other one. Like I said, I got a lot more stuff and it's a lot more time to go through these now. All right, that's done. All the Lord trays. I'm pushing away the taco box. Come back here. I can't get this. Okay. There we go. It's pushing away from me. All right. So, so far we have these three trays done. Now we're going to get into, push it back a little bit. The final tray, which is all of my tackle and gear besides the hook. Excuse me. Besides the hooks in the plastic tray. If you can't tell, my Texas rig weight, one fourth bullet weights. Um, yeah, and then we have 
think these are one pound or one ounce Cinco's with a three four one ounce Cinco's and a three four pound Cinco I found. Just found it. And these are two uh, hooks for Cinco's if you're going for like small bass or using the small Cinco's like I showed you, like if you're using these. Or if you're just, you wanna use a small hook for if you're going after like tiny bass, not like big, big. This will work, it's a good hook. Um, yeah, two out. Next up, we have these some jig heads and then some shaky heads. These are where I use most of my spin baits or spin, spin baits on, like the tail ones. Yeah, works really well. Um, yeah, I like them a lot. Those are one eighth ounce, one eighth or one fourth. I don't remember, but in that range. These are my bait holder hooks when you use shiners. I mean, what can I say? They're bait holder. Next we have swivels, snaps, whatever you want to call them. We use them all the time. These are my trout treble hooks from when I when you use supposed to use a power bait. I was trying to get some videos. He said small treble hooks. If you want to like a sh like use like a different inline spinner, you could probably put those on. These are the barrel swivels that I bought for the power bait. I mean, once I get the setup right, I they'll probably work. But for right now, struggling. These are some small hooks we were gonna we bought for the power bait bait holder since because we couldn't find uh treble hooks. Same thing for trout. These are one sixteenth ounce jig heads when I fished a creek during the summer, which I was hoping to be making at least a few videos on, depending on how I do. Swim baits work really good with that hook because the fish are small but they will bite it. Our second biggest bait holder hooks, I mean they're for bait. For um, hooks, this is like a decent one, basically, like a mix of sizes. But it's like our sunny crappie hooks, and we have more hooks here. If I can get one, so be it. It's a bunch, and then you just grab a few hooks. I fell into here, but I mean, it's whatever. We have our split shots. Also in a few sizes I could grab, but there's more. Ugh, I just dropped the split shot in here. Oh, come on. There we go. All right, and that is that tray. That, that shit didn't go that long. Longer, not as long as I expected. My feet just want to be in the camera trail. Okay, last but not least, the treacherous other side of plastics. Now in total, I probably have, I don't know, probably close to 30 plastics. Probably like over, probably close to $200 maybe. I don't know. If you're wondering how much probably all of this is in tackle, I'd say close to, with the tackle box in itself and all the gear. We didn't buy the trays, the trays came with it by the way. Um. Probably about close to $500, $600, which is a lot. Um, and if you're wondering where the other tray is, yeah, this is the tray I use when I go fishing by myself. I put it in a bag, put what I need, and I just bring that because we had we had to take it out either way because we are completely out of room. We need a room for plastics. All right, let's dig into the rest of these plastics and get this video. So these are the Kaitech baits. I put them in a Zippo bag because they leak. I want to get leak all over my tackle box. These are the black blue. They're four inches. My bad. Four black blue. And the other ones, um, just take them out. Take out the other ones. It's erased all the first ones. High tech swim baits and 2.5 inch. These are like the other color that you saw in the chatter bait. These work really well. Um, I don't know about the black blue ones. I bought it for the quick bait, but we'll see. Wait a minute. I went to go through this. All right. These are the Bass Pro Shops Ned Rigs. Themselves, it comes with five. We lost one. I think it's yeah. These are one eighth ounce. Um, my mom loves these, so you know, got it. These are the Jazit Helgramites we have. I don't really know what to say about them. Caught one fish on it, but I don't really remember much about them. Um, these is what I bought these for the creek. These are like these little. They're really cool. They're one point seven and a half, one and three quarter inches. These little shad like. Minnows and they look really cool and I bought them because I think they would really work at this creek and I hopefully can show you guys in the summer Which is like July August 
But when it when it happens, I'm really hoping for them to work. All right, let me just shift the camera angle. I'm gonna try to grab all these out here. Okay, I'm actually gonna have to stand up. I think I'm just, there we go. All right. Coming up on 30 minutes. This video is longer, a lot longer than the last one. All right, so. Let's dump into all these good bits. These are Crack and Cross and Okeechobee Crawl. I really should have gotten the Gopi Okeechobee Crawl and Bandito, but I just wanted black, blue, and green pumpkin. I wasn't thinking at the time. Love Bandito. And then I have two. My grandma got me one for my birthday. Got one from Cabela's, which is um, basically the same as Bass Pro, but different. Not really a Bass Pro, but they work together. I think, I don't know. But yeah. Guggen Bates, Black Boot, Bandito. Okay. And then we have the Lunker Log and Green Pumpkin. These are, let me see, six inch? Five inch. Five inch Cinco's Lunker Logs. We enough to use those. And then we have obviously the Crack and Crawl and Green Pumpkin. And then probably one of the bait I'm be waiting for you at the Creeks and other places. We have the Rattle and Ned in a Mud Minnow, because I really like this color. Love that rattle. And it's all the rest of my Google Mates. And that is it, guys. That is everything of in my tackle box. And I have all that to clean up. Leg to get out of the shot. I have all this to clean up, put away. It's going to be a nightmare, but I mean, hey. So if you guys enjoyed this What's in My Tackle Box Part 2 video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Um, if you enjoyed it, subscribe down below and turn on notifications if you are going to be enjoying the content and want to stick around for a bit. You can always change your mind later. So, I mean, if you want to, go ahead. And hope you guys will go and like these fishing adventures that I will go on. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this is part two to what's in my Taco Bots video. Once I get more stuff, I mean, it'll be a while if I ever do. But if I ever get like a huge update, I will make another video. That'll probably be a long time from now. So right now, no need. Or if I do, I'll just show it in the video. But you guys have a good rest of your day. And I will stay tonight. You guys have a good rest of your day and night. And I will see you guys in the next video.